Listen to the sound of that sweet music. And let's add a custom music disc to Minecraft. 121 Minecraft modding course is available down below with over 11 hours of content covering everything from the basics all the way to block entities and custom mobs. Oh ho 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 right. We found some back in Taylor once more and I mean listen okay we're doing a custom music disc. Can we use my non-existent singing skills to uh you know do the intro why not. But yes a custom music disc and the music disc actually changed a little bit compared to previous versions. So for a custom music disc, we still need a custom sound right here because, well, we uh, well a, basically it's just a, still a sound. But we also need a jukebox song. And for this, the first step in our mod sounds class is we wanted to make a private static. And there's going to be a resource key, resource key of type juke, jukebox song. There we go, jukebox song. I'm going to create, this is going to be called the create song method with a string name parameter. We're going to return resource key dot create registries, registries dot jukebox song, and then a resource location from namespace and path, passing in tutorial mod dot mod ID, and then the name. And that is going to be creating the song. And now we need two things over here. The first one is a public static final supplier of a sound event. This is going to be the bar underscore brawl. We'll once again use the bar brawl as our song. I do like it very much. And that's going to be bar underscore bar underscore brawl. There we go. That's going to be it. And then we have a second public static final, but this time a resource key. Can you imagine it? A resource key of type. Can you can you guess what it is? Yes, of jukebox song. Exactly. And this is going to be the bar underscore brawl underscore key equal to the create song method where we'll call it the exact same thing. And with this done, what we can now do is we can add the item. So the item, of course, is a is going to be the sort of record item, right? The actual disk, so to speak. So in our mod items class, we're going to have a public static final deferred item of type item. And this is going to be the bar underscore brawl underscore music underscore disk equal to the items deferred register that register method. And the name is going to be bar underscore brawl underscore music underscore disk. So pretty crazy out here. And then we're going to have this as follows. We're going to make a we're going to make a supplier of a new item, crazily enough. And this is going to be new item properties. And here we wanted to call the jukebox playable method, passing in the mod sounds dot bar brawl key. And then we also want this to stacks to one. And then there we go. This, of course, should be the register method, not the register item method. I don't know why it all of a sudden took the register item method. But there you go. We want to, of course, do this. And with this done, let's first of all add this to the creative mode tab because, well, it is a normal item. We can also add the data gen for it. So this is going to be the item model provider over here. This is a basic item, so nothing too crazy going on in that instance. And do we need to use this anywhere else? Uh, yes. So... The Barbara music disc in and of itself. So instead of the code, we're all good. However, uh, we, what we need is we need to define the jukebox song via the day via data. Now, in theory, we could also do this by making a custom data gen. Uh, you know, using the data pack provider over here and making a custom class. Usually, though. You know, it's it's the same thing that I said with the trims. You know, sometimes it makes sense to, you know, do data gen. Sometimes it doesn't. Of course, you could do this with data gem. In this case, we're going to actually, I'm going to show this with basically doing it custom, but we're going to be fine either way. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the resources folder and we're going to recreate the directory called data. Inside of there, we want to create another new directory called tutorial mod. Inside of there, we want to create another directory. We want to call this the juke box underscore song and then finally inside of there we wanted to create a new file called bar underscore brawl dot json the contents of this look kind of like this it's not actually that crazy we're going to have a comparator comparator output underscore output all of the code here is of course also available down below i have a description this description is going to actually be a an object translate and this translate is going to be item dot tutorial mod dot bar underscore brawl underscore music underscore disk dot disk for the description then we have to define the length underscore in underscore seconds i have already defined this as 162.0 and then the sound event that is associated with this is going to be tutorial mod colon bar underscore brawl 
like I said, this whole craziness could in theory also be in the same way created with the in a similar way that this one has been created, right? The mod trim materials and the mod trim patterns. We have a register method and then you had a would have a bootstrap context of jukebox song, right? So that could also work. But like I said, sometimes you can do it. Sometimes you don't have to do it. Let's say you add like one or song. I don't know. You can probably just write it out and change this. If you have multiple, then it, there is a there could be a reasoning to basically do this uh, do this with data gen. But whatever the case may be, though, we then also have the assets to do. The first one is the translation and the texture, and then also the sound. Well, the translation is going to be well the bar brawl music disc right here, and then for the description, we basically always have what who is the maker of the song, and then the name of the song, and then here I also added CC0 to basically denote that this is under the public domain license Creative Commons zero. So basically, you can use this however which way you would like. And then we have the texture. So this is going to be, first of all, the item texture right here. So this is going to be in the item right here, bar, bra, music, disc, very straightforwardly, right? So that it also has a proper texture. And then we get to the sounds. Well, the sound, very straightforwardly, once again, is just going to be the bar, bra, OGG. Once again, this is a proper OGG file. I mean, this craziness, we can close this. We don't need to look at the OGG file, how it looks inside of a code editor. Obviously, this is a sound file, so it's going to look very strange. But the idea is that it has to be a proper OGG file, very, very importantly, and it has to be in mono. Make sure that it is in mono. If you just, you know, rename an MP3 file, that's not going to work. You have to properly convert it and you have to make sure that it is in mono. Otherwise, it's going to be heard on the entire server. Once we have this done, we have one last step, and that is in the sounds JSON over here. We, of course, also want to make sure that the bar, bar brawl is added here. That's going to be the bar underscore brawl at the very bottom over here. The bar brawl is going to be an object, and then we have the sounds right here, and that is going to be a list, and the list is going to have the name, and that's going to be tutorial mod colon bar underscore brawl, with the stream being true, because this is a stream, basically it's going to be continuously sort of being called, that is the idea of this. And that is actually all we need in this case. Now, having done all of this, I'm pretty sure we should be good to go and we should have everything. The newest thing here is now in the data, basically, where you in the jukebox songs that you basically have to define the songs via the name right here. So the name of the JSON file right here has to match the name of the resource key in this case. And then once again, the fact that everything is called bar brawl is just sort of a you know, coincidence, quote unquote, they don't always have to match the same name, right? The, the the names that have to match is just, once again, the sound event has to match the name given right here. So those are the name of the sound event. Then this is the name of the OGG file. And this is the name of the jukebox song key, which obviously matches with this name. That's why it's the case. And that's basically the, sort of the name overlaps in this case that have to happen. But whatever the case may be, let's run the data gen over here to, well, basically generate the item model JSON file for our custom bar bra music disc. And once that is done, well, then I would say let's jump into the game and hear if it works. All right, finally back in Minecraft. And as you can see, the bar bra music disc has been successfully added to the game. And if I put it into a jukebox, there we freaking go. And of course, very importantly, because this is a mono file, like OGG file, as I continue to go away, it gets quieter and quieter until we can't hear it no more. And if I go back, Da, 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 da. I love it. Absolutely freaking amazing. And you can see that is a bar brawl, like, and that is a custom music disc added to Minecraft. Awesome. A short appeal here at the end. It's very easy to make a sort of a typo or a mistake. Double check all of your spellings everywhere that everything is done correctly, specifically also with the JSON file in the correct folder and everything like that because it's very, very easy to, well, make a typo anywhere. And for that, of course, all of the code is available down below, so no worries there at all. But that's going to be it for this tutorial, right? Next time in this video, we'll talk about custom effects. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.